Uh, afternoon, everyone. I'm Shi Qi from the US. I'm really glad here to share you with our work about how to measure the information diffusion in the invitation scenarios. Uh, this is a joint work with Perowiz AI, Tencent, and Sustech. The scenario of invitation is quite common in the real world, especially on the social networks or other, social, or other online platforms. Take the Tencent's game as an example. Um, the, there, is a, a ser uh, there is numerous invitation-based events, and the aim of these events is to uh, stimulate your engagement with your friends. It means that uh, the these kind of events encourage you to invite your friends to play together, and you can get, uh, you can get uh, some uh, initiatives. And we find that in this kind of invitation-based events, the invitation behaviors can actually cascade. So uh, based on the right-hand side uh, histogram, uh, this is based on an in-game invitation events. And this is a histogram of the, diffu uh, the, the, the invitation behaviors diffusion tree. And we can find that uh, more than 40% of the diffusion trees has a depth uh, more than one, it means that the imitation behavior uh, really cascade. So based on our observation, a question you may ask is that, how can we model the invitation diffusion under this uh, invitation scenario? And here we build a, a progressive stochastic model uh, based on the independence cascade model. And here I will give some brief intuition of the uh, independence cascade model. So give a social network with uh, a, a where every edge is, has an edge width. It means the probability that one user can influence the other one. And the independence cas mo cascade model, uh, here we short for IC. The IC assumes that uh, every engaged user has an independent, has an independent uh, influence probability to influence uh, their friends. Uh, and there's this probability called PUV. And at the first glance, this uh, model might be suitable for the imitation scenario because, as I mentioned in the previous slides, the imitation scenarios most happens between you and your friends. So the imitation behaviors typically uh, happens and the cascade uh, along the social relationships, existing relationships. But the problem is that the IC model and other variants, based on the IC model, they ignore the conversion funnel in this invitation mechanism. So to explain, I will give uh, some brief uh, introduction about how uh, what is the conversion funnel is. So conversion funnel is a quite common concept and measurement in the marketing in, in the marketing industry. It describes a user's journey and it describes how users' behavior change in multiple stages. And based on this funnel, you can see that uh, there are generally three uh, steps. The first is awareness. Uh, it measures the reach and impression of a campaign. And it is useful for the business outreach, especially for the new business. And the second stage uh, goes to the adoption. It means uh, it is measured by the engagement, like the click, share, or these kind of things. And it is important to the platform activeness. And the third one is the action stage. It means the user, uh, a user has its own initiative to buy something, to take some action, like they will search some product and to purchase. And this stage is uh, related to the e-commerce revenue. So based on this conversion funnel, we can find that actually all these three stages, um, uh, all these three, th three stages matter. But in the IC model, they roughly said that um, I need to capture how our users are influenced by the others, but they did not uh, disentangle these three specific but important stage. So this is uh, our main motivation. So um, comes to the invitation scenario, the conversion funnel still exists. And based on the, the left-hand side means that a, inviter, a, a user can click on the uh, inviter the invitation events and it will pop out uh, a friend list and you can rec and you can invite and the right hand side means the uh, 
we said the target user means the, your, your, your friends and your friends will receive a, like a message and you click on this message, you, you decide whether or not to accept and play with your friends. So uh, inside this uh, scenario, the conversion funnel of a user is that at first it is uninformed, he did not know these events and maybe he will get invitations, means he will be invited and uh, he will decide whether to accept or not. And once it accepts and engage with their with his friends, he may also make a decision to invite his friends. So this is the funnel in this invitation scenario. So to capture this invitation conversion funnel, we present a simple but useful uh, diffusion model, and it is built upon the independent cascade, and we call it independent cascade with invitation model, short for ICI. And to, to disentangle the three different active states, we split uh, it into the inviters, invitees, and uh, acceptors. Uh, this, uh, this ICI model is also a stochastic and progressive model. So uh, given a set of initial inviters, we call it the seeds. Uh, a diffusion instance unfolds in discrete steps. Uh, as first step, only the only the inviters, uh, only the initial inviters are tagged as the active user. So at the subsequent steps, uh, each new inviters will have a probability to invite uh, his friends, and this uh, invitation probability you can think of it as a click through rate. And after a friend receives the invitation, he will has a uh, he will decide whether or not to accept this uh, uh, invitation. So it, this can be captured by another parameter beta. And uh, again, if he if this uh, friends finish the, the, this game, and uh, he might also want to invite their friends. So uh, this uh, within this all intention can be also uh, modeled by the parameter beta, uh, gamma. And so uh, this stochastic procedure will keep going until no more new inviters exist. So here, all these three, uh, in this uh, work, we are not quite focusing, we are not quite focusing on how to um, design uh, different models to model the uh, invitation probability or the conversion uh, rates. Because we think that there are existing, uh, there are different existing wor works. For example, the CTR prediction models can help. Yeah, and here we only want to find a way to capture the uh, invitation behaviors in this case. And now it comes to the our applications. Uh, here, the first two are the offline parts. Uh, the, the the first application is the influence estimation. So that's the so the objective is to estimate how many influenced users uh, from the given C set S. So here we compare different diffusion models and given a diffusion model, we estimate the average number of uh, influenced users from, uh, from uh, under this model by T simulations. So here, uh, besides our proposed ICI, we compare six competitors. Uh, IC is the, the ICI, it is the independent cascade. CTIC is the IC model considering the continuous time. And IC, ICN is uh, another variant of IC that considering the negative opinion. And LT, LTC, and FTM are all based on the linear threshold. Uh, here we compare six data sets. The, four, the first four are come uh, from the Tencent games and the, Last two are, are the public data sets from SNAP. And based on the RMSC, and we can find that uh, our proposed model can um, outperform all other competitors, or all the competitors in all the test data sets. Um, the second offline application is um, based on the macro level. In the, in the past macro level prediction, we can make a good deal. So we want to know if we can correctly predict every individuals. So if uh, each predict influence user, they are, they, are, they, they are true. 
So this objective is to predict if each user is direct or indirectly influenced by a given C set S. So the uh, predict label is the fraction that a user is directly or indirectly influenced starting from S uh, over the T simulations. Here we compare uh, all these uh, competitors based on AOC and MAP and uh, except that we are the second best on the DGIS data sets, we can still uh, have better performance with, uh, compared to other competitors in the rest of the data sets. So uh, now we comes to the online de deployment part. The first uh, application is about the frame ranking as I mentioned in the first slide, uh, the second slide. Um, so this kind of, we call it the friendship enhancements events in this kind of events, um, the user will first have a look at the, 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 the event description and he will click on to uh, invitation bottom and there will have a friend ranking uh, list popped out and he will decide whether to uh, invite, invite their friends or not. So the ob objective is how to recommend existing friends for the players to improve the engagement. So um, now I want like to uh, I would like to first introduce the current baseline. Uh, uh, typically, we use the intimacy. It means the historical interaction between you and your friends, and the, the existing solutions is doing the rank and select the top K based on the intimacy value. And uh, in this. Uh, in this work, we try to um, measure or to rank your friends based on its individual uh, influence centrality. And this influence centrality is measured, uh, it's, it's uh, equals to the influence spread under the IC or ICI model. And we rank friends based on this spread in this in order and select the top K. Here is the performance of uh, it, here's a performance on two social lottery events of a role-playing game in t on Tencent. And the, uh, the social lottery events means that a uh, user can not only buy the uh, lottery tickets uh, to attend the lucky draw, uh, they can also uh, invite their friends to share some coupon like that. So uh, based on the results, we can find that uh, our ICI model can uh, have, can shows better performance compared to the intimacy and IC in terms of the invitation rate and the pay rate. And the second scenario is uh, quite similar to the viral marketing setting. It's called the KOL selection. So uh, in the game, they also have some uh, uh, campaigns need to maximize the outreach. Uh, so the, this kind of uh, game, the, this, this kind of game has a setting of uh, uh, they, they have the need to select a set of seed users. They must have some good uh, spreading performance and and the platform will give them some uh, uh, initiatives and these kind of initiatives can be duplicated after the users play with their friends. Like I am the initial user has the double credit and after I play with my friends, my friends can also have this double credit. So this can make this double credit uh, spread all over the social network. So the objective is that how can we identify key influencers to maximize the event outreach. Uh, here we treat the IC or ICI as a diffusion model and invoke the greedy algorithm of the uh, influence maximization algorithm to select cases. And the competitors here, this, it is also the uh, widely used in this case is that we directly select the K, uh, the, the K users with the largest degree centrality. So based on the performance, we can find that the influence maximization based solutions, no matter it is rely on the IC or ICI models, it can have the better performance based on the spread increment, increment and the invitation rates compared with the degree, uh, degree model. It means that uh, I, uh, the the well-studied research problem I am, it can really help the in the real world industry. And the second insight is that 
the diffusion, the underlying diffusion model of IM is really critical because based on the results, we can find that the ICI can has better uh, has better performance compared with the IM model rely on the conventional IC model. Uh, to summarize, we propose a simple but uh, effective diffusion model that considering the invitation scenario, and we have better performance on the in influence estimation and the diffusion prediction tasks. And we have deployed our ICI-based solutions to the frame ranking and QL selections. Uh, that's all, thank you.